Okay, so we've announced the fact that I'm going to be disappearing off to the west coast of the States with Dave Newton before NAB, and we're going to be taking a, uh, a GFX out with us and some GH5s, and we're going to be basically shooting in the field. We're going to be doing landscapes. We're going to be doing some cinematography with the GH5s. We're also going to be doing vlogging with the GH5s. Now, obviously, one thing we need to get sorted was filters for uh, both sides of it. And so we've come to Lee. We're going to speak to Richard, and he's going to explain a little bit about the new uh, ProGlass IR ND range. So what are we going to be taking with us then? Right, so you're going to be taking a full set of uh, 100 mil size uh, IR NDs. Um, for stills, everything from two stops uh, up to uh, 15 stops. So great for stills, long exposure, um, shooting in bright sunlight. Okay, so the new IRND range. Explain to me what the differences are between that and the existing resin range. Right, okay, so we have uh, our new big stoppers, uh, which everybody knows us for, which we're famous for, um, but a lot of people commented to say that you know there's a blue color cast in there. Um, and it's a perfectly fine product. It's you know it's, we're still going to be selling those, but we do have the new IRNDs, which are completely free of any color cast, um, accurate in terms of stop values, um, and you can use them and not have to process after you've taken the shot. So we've got some example images here by Mark Bauer where he's shot raw unprocessed and got some really really amazing results so that's a difference and and these obviously are made of glass absolutely yeah high-end glass um, you know it's a metallic coating on the surface not sandwich process um, and yeah no color cost so they're reasonably scratch resistant reasonably yeah I mean any any glass will scratch uh, but these particular ones at 100 mil for the still side of things um, they are, have a higher resistance to scratching than a resin uh, product would. Then yes. we've also got the other side of the coin, which is Absolutely. on the Cine side. Now, we are going to be taking out the GH5s with anamorphic lenses, so we want to put a matte box on the front of them and then put some decent filters on the front of that. So Absolutely. what are we talking about on that side of things? So we've uh, not long launched our new cinematography line, uh, and they're called ProGlass IR Cine. Uh, so we're keeping them within the whole ProGlass range. The revolutionary thing about these are that they are scratch resistant. So on the coated surface, we've add that, added that into a metallic mix. So you don't, for rental purposes, you know, you don't have to worry about scratching your filters, uh, putting them in and out of matte boxes quickly. Uh, they've got a nice frame f finish around the edge as well, so it tells you what the product is. But again, the advantage is the neutrality. So especially shooting at uh, 2.1 and above, there's no color cast. There's no green, there's no magenta, there's no browns like other uh, brands, um, and that's the main advantage. And these are being used on high-end feature films. Um, you know, high-end rental companies like Panavision, we make them for them as well. Uh, it's gaining a lot of ground in the market. That's really, really interesting. Well, we look forward to having a good play with them. Now, we are also going to take some resins with us. We're going to take some grads with us, aren't yes, we? Yes, you are, yeah. Uh, you're going to have a, se a selection of everything from a one stop up to four stops in terms of grads uh, and we'll provide you with you know hard and a medium set so you have a, a nice range oh, they'd be absolutely perfect and to be honest Dave will be on hand to explain he should be here but unfortunately he's got to work at the moment so um, Dave will be on hand the whole way through our trip to actually explain how they work what you use in what circumstances and what you can actually get from it so I'm really looking forward to it because I should certainly learn an awful lot as yeah. well so listen thanks very much indeed Richard no problem really at all. really appreciate yeah, it no and you'll be able to actually see the fruits of our labors in a little while